What is up, guys? Yes, that's what I'm playing. Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Yes. How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining in on the stream. I am super pumped for this. I have been waiting for this. I can't wait to dive in. I hope you guys enjoy what's about to happen. I'm hoping you can maybe even help me make some decisions in the uh, game ahead. I'm going to start with Mass Effect 1. Uh, as I should I'm, and I plan on playing through this whole series and uh, knowing the decisions I'm making are gonna impact everything going forward is gonna be pretty incredible you know so uh, I am super pumped yes I am all right let's uh, I'm going to just do one thing real quick for the stream you know, I didn't make a uh, you know what, I'm gonna just see if I can do that as a as a thumbnail uh, let's see here, guys. How, how's everybody doing today? All right, here we go. All right, oh, loot, user agreements. Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up, Magriath? Power Man 4K. I'm wasn't it I, okay? So I'm remembering that you told me to call you. I think what I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but I think it was Mark. Possibly. Uh, what's up, Power Man? As well, how are you doing, dude? If I if I remembered that correctly, I'm gonna be insanely impressed. Um. Maybe you're not the person I was thinking of, also. <laughs> Who knows? Um, how are you doing, Power Man? I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm right? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got that right. Uh, there's very, very few times I'm impressed with myself. Right now, my memory served me correctly. Hello, Mark. How are you doing? I didn't want to be wrong because I didn't want to be rude. G Bone, what's up? I do. I I think that the uh, intro screen looks incredible. That's all I've gotten to so far. <laughs> this is this is it. This is all I've managed to get to. So we're gonna start with Mass Effect One. Uh, I know that I love these games because I played them all. So I think they're incredible, but I'm going to experience them in a new light, and I'm pumped. Fuck to the yeah. And I'm glad I don't have a wireless headset for once. Start a new career. Even the music. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's been so it's it's been such a long time coming for this. This is like one of the most requested things in the last decade. Yeah, we're playing some Halo after the um, podcast tonight. Anybody that wants to hang out and play, we are definitely doing that. Uh, but uh, Like I said a couple episodes ago, send me a message on Xbox after the show and let me know you want to invite to the party. Because I am keeping the party private because we have had a few random uh, suspect people try and pop in and ruin things for, for everybody at different times uh, when I'm either streaming or after after the podcast or whatever i know that music midway oh my gosh dude it's just like vibes dude it's just feeling me with vibes bro hey magorium how are you long time no see start this shit welcome to alliance military database classified information requested yeah i'm giddy right now i've been waiting all day and night last night to play connection. this Secure connection confirmed. Yeah, I know. I know you're on KY. I actually saw, caught um, one of y'all's episodes. Um, yeah, I think y'all's first episode. Um, I recognize the name, dude. And I think, I think you do a good job, honestly, Power Man. I think, uh, I think you do a good job at it, man. So excited to see how y'all grow, and uh, keep keep it up, man. 
for sure. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, it was your headphones last night. I, I figured, bro. Okay. I'm going to go with the female. Because that's what everybody says I should play as. Please um, log in to access your profile. So, uh, w w when I go with a female, guys don't laugh at me, but I do a variation of Mav. I do I always do a variation of Mav for my characters, almost always. So, uh, I frequently use Maven because it's like a female, like, thing, right? So, Maven Shepherd, that's what we'll do. Hey, back, how's it going? Yeah, Magorium, Mag it's like. Um, Twitter, you have to, to enjoy the platform, you have to be able to learn to ignore all the crazy nonsense on there. It, like, some people, like, can or some people can't. Um, some people enjoy that. So, it's definitely, it, it can get to me sometimes as well. Once you realize that a lot of people are doing it purposefully, then it doesn't bother you as much because you just realize you're just trolling. Okay, wait. Wait, what do I do? The, what do I do all the class stuff? Okay, we're gonna do this custom. Please log in to access your profile. I don't remember anything, bro. Pong, I know, bro. Dude. Warning: Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. I, I've been amped. Confirm Get back into this. History. Okay. Oh man, it's decisions, guys. All right, what should I choose? A spacer, a colonist, or an Earthborn? You're an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escape the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Hey, that sounds interesting. Uh, Colonists, you were born and raised on Mindwar, Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. That sounds like a Star Wars beginning, doesn't it? And then Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Ah, the colonist. I'm going to go with colonist. Seems like she's had the most hardships. Going to be the most tough. <laughs> right on, Meg. Took the day off, Pong. Nice. Did Boom Show. Got some stuff down, now playing. Right on, dude. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological profile. Alright, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Tapped into an extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. That sounds good. Okay, war hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Or ruthless throughout your military career, you've, you have held fast to your one basic rule. Get the job done! You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always go to you. Okay, I'm going with ruthless. That sounds pretty awesome. Confirm military specialization. It's just like, hey, I kind of bend the rules when I need to to get the shit done, right? Like, it's kind of like, um, here's here's my example. Have y'all seen Without Remorse? Ruthless is Michael B. Jordan. Yes, Ruthless is Michael B. Jordan with Without, without Remorse. He's a badass. He'll do what he he needs to do on his own accord to make sure the task gets done and do the right thing. What's up, Boogeyman? How are you doing? Okay, now, another decision. Ah, soldier, engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, or vanguard. So many choices. 
All right, soldiers, yeah. Engineer, engineers are tech specialists. No, adept, biotics, but I remember the adepts are pretty cool. Infiltrator, infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools. Focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Okay. Sentinel Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Though, they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are mo more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Hmm. No. Vanguards are biotic warriors. Okay. Um. I like Infiltrator. Hey, Mama, how's it going? I think an infiltrator just, she just kind of sounds like a badass. Like, almost like spy tactics or something, Confirm you know? Facial identification. All right, let's change her appearance a little bit. Let's cycle some presets. The graphics are pretty damn good on this, honestly, guys. Uh, I used to spend hours doing this kind of stuff. Where's hair? Okay. And then I, at one point, I just was like, you know what? I'm. I don't care as much. <laughs> All right. Haircut. All right, let's go with, I think this one's pretty pretty good. Can I spin? Okay. All right. Is it weird that sometimes I try and make the girls look like, when I play as a girl character, look like my wife? Is that, <laughs> is that like a weird thing that I do? I don't know. Make her look super pissed and uptight looking. How about a scar? Nah. Okay, eyes. We can make eye shape look pissed. Uh, that one looks pretty pretty cool. Um, iris color. Let's go with like. Let's go with like a brown brow height. Okay. So mouth, you know, to make somebody look pissed, they gotta do like the mouth thing. Mouth shape. Oh. Okay, I, I'm gonna leave it like this. I like this. How'd I do, guys? Well, it's a, it's a remaster. It's not a full remake. So. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any setting. Hey, I'm, I'm down with this. Identification confirmed. Um... Uh, hey, Pong, what did you do for this, bro? Did you do legendary mode or did you do classic mode? I'm thinking I'm going to go with legendary mode. I mean, it's the it's newer, so... I'm kind of down with trying the new systems. You know what I mean? Um, subtitles... I've been told that I need to play with subtitles on. Oh, right on, Artie. 
Squad power usage. If squad AI will only use defensive powers to protect themselves or others. No, we want squad AI to use all available talents. Heck yeah. Auto save on. Okay, I think I'm good to go, guys. Here we go. I don't know what the difference well, is exactly. What about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization and the decades that followed these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time that called the greatest discovery in human history, the civilizations of the galaxy. Call it Mass Effect. Heck yeah. Chills, vibes, guys. In Legendary, you can max out the level at the end of the game. Okay. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Ooh, man, this looks... Oh my gosh. I'm actually pleasantly surprised right now. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. It's crispy, guys. All stations secure for transit. And smooth. It may not, the one thing, it may not come across as well uh, when you're streaming, and I need to turn up the brightness for you guys a little bit. Board is green. Approach run has begun. So I'm going to do that in a second. Effect relay. Thrusters, check. Joker. Mission, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Eris. Oh, Nihilus. I hate that guy. That's right. We don't get the other Garrus later, you right? On. So you hate him. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. Joker, that is report. Just no nonsense the mass relay, here, Captain. No nonsense. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. I can't possibly imagine why. Okay. Alright, first off, I'm gonna go to options, graphics. Um, because I'm streaming, I'm going to turn... Oh, favorite... Qu okay, what's this? Favorite quality offers increased resolution at reduced FPS. Favorite frame rate adjusts resolution to attain higher FPS for applicable quality and performance will vary depending on your hardware. Um, 
I think for quality is still 4K 60, and the other mode goes to 120 at 1440. Which, uh, since I'm streaming 1080p 60 or 4K 6, I'm streaming 1080p 60, playing at 4K 60. Um, I'll leave it on quality. Um, film grain off, maybe. Turn that off. Motion blur off. I think it, we don't need that stuff. And calibrate. Oh. Calibration. Brightness. There we go. I'm going to turn it up for you guys. Save it real quick. There we go. No, I'm not going straight for hard. I'm just playing on normal. Man, this is... Oh my gosh, guys. This is super impressive for a remaster so far. And this is the one I thought was going to be the worst, to be honest with you. But it's like... Okay. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am. Hey, lady. How's it going? We're really doing out here. With all due respect. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Yeah, Understood, Presley. Come on. Oh, me too, bro. Me too, man. I wanted to be riding in that Mako at 120. Rolling. Rolling in the Mako at 120. I grew up on East Climb, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this. Hi, people. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool <laughs> even under fire. I'm just being an asshole, Sorry, Commander. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. <laughs> Are you serious, Pong? Prime. I've heard it's quite <laughs> beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Oh yeah, Magorium, for sure. Yeah, Cam needs to sit. Well, he's he has trouble. He can't stream because of his internet connection right now. But he's working on uh, moving, so I think he'll uh, be getting that situated. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. 
Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time yeah. humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the country. Writing in this Plus, is just incredible. Scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Eek. Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, <laughs> Commander. Eden that's Prime will be that's the funny. It, it was crazy as I'm not even really noticing it because I remember playing through this like, and it's just like expected for me. <laughs> so I'm not even noticing what you guys are talking about, but it's pretty funny. I could, I could, I could, I mean, I could see it. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We need to get to that planet. That. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Bum, bum, a small bum. strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Yeah, this is like a... I mean, this is an old game. <laughs> you know? Like, for when this game came out, like, could you Gage imagine? There was, I mean, there's nothing else to this quality out there. As far as RPGs. Somebody so, was doing some serious I mean, it was kind of like a first. Captain. This... this Kind of game, really. in this operation, I guess Jade Empire was kind of close or whatever. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Fourteen years ago, Pong. Nihilus wow. will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. 
We are approaching drop point two. I definitely want more collections like this with this kind of treatment done. I think it's I think these are worth sixty bucks. Like this Okay, if you compare like this value of these three games with the work that they put into it, upgrading it and all that stuff, compared to like let's say what Nintendo did with the three Mario games. I like there's there's really no comparison. Right? Like uh, this is worth 60 bucks, right? I, I'm not trying to knock Nintendo here. I'm just saying, like, um, I think it's worth buying. Man. I remember th when I saw those the first time, I thought they looked like the Flood. Oh, Dead Wolf, I'm like crazy impressed, bro. How's it going, Mike? Oh man. I'm just getting the controls. What what did I just throw? Okay. Dude, this is awesome. Mine grenades. This is definitely worth the money. Yeah, exa exactly, country gentleman. Could happen, Mega. Uh, Rare Replay had some of those. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm hitting the wrong button for reload. What button's reload? No reload. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta train myself not to try and reload, bro. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be rough. You know the crazy thing for me guys the craziest thing was when I was seeing all the gameplay videos and all that stuff like I was like okay the graphics look just different but not necessarily better right but like I'm playing it now I'm like oh my gosh it's way better than I played like when I played the 360 version like it's seeing it like actually on the screen I don't know if it comes across on the stream as well um, but like seeing it while you're actually playing it is like it's pretty um, impressive Able to equip light armor. Okay. Okay. 
Ok. Alright, let's go. Let's save again. The bag. Oh, we already, already said hi, didn't I? Back. Hey, 8 bit. Thank you for stopping by and giving the thumbs up, bro. Appreciate it. I don't know if I said hello, Jasper. How's it going, bro? Yeah, the X button thing is tripping me out right now. Back says, funny people trying to figure out controls for games. I grew up on NES and 64. We all used to use games no manuals you just had to hit the buttons to figure it out that's what that's what i was doing too i just sit there and i play with the buttons I, that's that's i have a horrible memory with controls even like if i play a game if i don't play a game for like a week i can't remember any of the controls but most games have like s the same control scheme it's when something is different that it throws me off and then what i do when i notice that i'm thrown off i sit there and i hit every button to like figure out okay what does this do what does this do Okay, so is, there's no reload. Is there any ammo? Uh, Toolman, what's up? 15 more minutes in the weekend. Anthony Chipmunk, what's up? Does she have gold lipstick? I don't know what color her lipstick is, babe. I think it's like skin tone lipstick. Here, I can... What was the button for... The squad? Oh, there's squad. Yeah, it's just like... I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she does. Okay, I guess Meg knows. It's based on heat. Okay, got you, Pong. Thanks, dude. Nude? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah. I don't know. Is it is it gold? Maybe it's gold. Meg saw me make the character, so she may know better than me. Oh shit! This way. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Yeah, what Williams is having a horrible others. day. I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. <laughs> it's time for payback. Let's go kill those motherfucking geth. All right, press the start button to access my computer, then go to the squad screen. Okay. Squad, Williams. All right, let's... Let's do that, Williams.
Okay, equipment. Yeah, this is like so different, guys. It's like so old school, <laughs> but also like new in a way. Like, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh... When I was in the character screen, I should have... Should have taken a screenshot. Man, it's so smooth. Oh my gosh. That's Okay, I'm doing it. Crouch is the left stick. The combat's like so much smoother than it was in Mass Effect 1. I just remember that. That was the one thing I remember back then. I was like, oh, this kind of feels a little off, you know? Are you serious? It went all the way by his head. Whoops. X. I uh, keep hitting X to reload. Can I pick that up? No. Okay. Omni gel. Big sight. Okay. Let's go pick this up. Okay, let's <sighs> equipment. Is there like an auto save button? Okay, nice dude. Thank you. That helps. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, where did he say to go? Okay. 
I thought we were supposed to go into the dig site. Oh, wait, up here. It's like Vlad the Impaler, guys. guys. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, um, equipment, because I got a new sniper. A. Oh, I have to do it when it's doing it? Okay. Oops. No, one in there. Well, there's people locked in there. How, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Oh, man, I'm screwed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're trapped. I know. person can you open the door uh oh I screwed that up wait what maybe if I walk far enough away trying to do the manual override and I failed. I, I didn't do it right. Saren. Linus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh-oh.
Bye bye. Ah, the guns feel so good. Ah, damn it. Did it again. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. It's safe. Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. <laughs> Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh, no, no wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell, his name's Powell. <laughs> no honor among thieves. That's all the I intimidation, know. Really? yes. Let's try to keep things friendly from here on in. Yeah, okay. maybe. A little bit. I have to go. Good luck. Right on. This is so cool, guys. All right, let's save this. Screenshot time. Oh, so smooth, guys. Mass Effect 1. Like... Oh, buddy Nihilus, I see you. Should've went with us, pal. A Turian? 
You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us at the normal. Something's moving. Over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren... <laughs> Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? So good. <laughs> it's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? We have more important things to worry about. Yeah. This is a hell of a thing. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through <laughs> my loser. shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do, run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> that guy's freaking ridiculous. Reload doesn't do anything. I gotta stop. Where is this fucker? Oh, okay. Damn, how much health did he have?
Okay. Um. Okay. Map overload. Map it to what? Right bumper? You, it's um, it's a set. You get all three games with one purchase, so it's uh, sixty bucks. Or if you're in a Game Pass or Ultimate member or a EA Play member, then you get ten percent off. So it's like fifty three ninety nine or something like that, I think. Um, and you get all three Mass Effect games remastered, and uh, it's incredible. <laughs> absolutely incredible right now I'm thoroughly enjoying it if you enjoyed the first Mass Effect and this is like it seems so far like it's a way better version of it you got to get used to the controls because the control scheme is dated back to like what 14 years ago right uh, this was interesting but uh, it's so good running so smooth looks way better plays way better really good job on a remaster it's how they should be done Get it.
<laughs> Getting hungry. Had some Spring Creek barbecue for lunch. And we already have dinner set tonight because we got Jersey Mike sandwiches. Just put them in the fridge. Good to go for later. After the podcast, makes it easy. Okay, well, I'm going to investigate that after I do this. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's a great cook. Yeah. There's like a visually like Halo CE anniversary could definitely be better. Like visually, I, I don't think they made good choices on some of the like artistic design with that. Like there's a lot of yellow there's like it's just like they made things look different and overly detailed because they could and they put like a lot of colors and stuff where they didn't really need to be so but they did way better on halo 2 anniversary um with that not that it looks bad it just doesn't look like you would expect right that was kind of like a feeling i had when playing halo ce anniversary Nothing I ever really complained about. Um, I just prefer because of the because of it playing that game in uh, um, original graphics. But Halo Two Anniversary, I prefer playing in updated graphics. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. That just happened. Gosh, I don't remember much from this. I remember the overarching story. It's all the little details. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Oh, I, yeah, I, I don't cook unless I'm cooking outside. Or on a flat top, like for breakfast or something. <laughs> this human must be eliminated. No, we just usually get takeout Friday nights. When I do cook, it's usually like steak on the grill, something like that. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. 
I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. <laughs> I won't let them blame me for losing nice. the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. 
He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We proved Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Let's go! We have to warn the Council. It was an act of war. Saren... ...is evil. This, is, this would make for a pretty good picture here. Don't want to get any of the talking things. There we go. There we go. Let's take a picture here. I'm going to share this. Uh, I need to brighten it up for you guys still. I like doing a little tweets with the screenshots sometimes, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to post a little screenshots. It's, uh, this game's surprising me with the graphics, actually, guys. Sorry about that. Sharing is caring. You run a sandwich truck? I love sandwiches. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Who could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins? Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Chakwas. I'm a guy. I've been getting from Jersey Mike's. I'm getting a turkey and bacon. Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? I take it easy, Meg. 
What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Oof, nice. I don't have much money, so... I'll have to come back to you later, bud. Yeah, it's um I mean it's a classic game. I mean this is like I said, it's like a fourteen year old game that's been remastered, so it's definitely gonna have some, you know, not great visual things at times, right? Um uh, but overall it's pretty incredible still. It doesn't feel bad, it feels good. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? That computer? Okay, journal. Oh, speak to Joker. Okay, I need to go to the... You know, I'm going to save it real quick. I haven't saved it in a while. I need to go to the cockpit. Go to the front of the ship. Not the right direction. Joker's up, up there. Where do I go? Ah, here we go. Joker! Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work.
Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> I'm just saying, you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Right on, Power Man. You take it easy, dude. Roger, Alliance Tower. Yeah, there's a lot of reviews out. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Mass Effect 1, you know. But I mean, it's Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3. It's a classic trilogy. So just look at the reviews of those individually. And also if you want to look at the reviews of the Legendary Edition, which is what this is. It's a collection of remasters. Then, uh... Check this out the there's a lot of reviews already out Council because people got it. Reviewers got it early. So there's a ton of reviews out there. Don't found colonies on the borders of the terminus system. Getting actually really good scores for the most part. Well people I've talked to. When you went into the traverse. Well what about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I wonder if I like installed Mass Effect 1, you know, just to com for comparison's sake and played through that same portion. How much different it is. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Yeah. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Here we go. What's up, Hertog? How's it going, bro? Yes. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. We know he's up to something, Garrus. See you later, bud, on the ship. Started. Come on. <laughs> the Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. <laughs> Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. Wow. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Wow, babe. That's amazing. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The 
Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Oh boy. So I, I need I need to show this to you guys. Sometimes my wife blows me away with some of the stuff she does. Um. <laughs> so I'm gonna post this. Uh, if you guys are watching, I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the thumbnail for tonight's Xbox Ultimate podcast on the screen real quick. Because uh, this is one of those times where my wife blew me away here. We're going to have fun tonight, guys. Absolute fun tonight. Starfield. We're going to talk about Dark Alliance. We're going to talk about Mass Effect Legendary Edition, what I'm playing right now. We're going to talk about Steam. We're going to have fun. Ashton Lucas coming on the show tonight. Devin from AKA, or not AKA, but Devin from Hyperfan Gaming, also from Weebly Green Podcast, is going to be on the show tonight. 9 p.m. Eastern Xbox Ultimate Podcast. Uh, yeah. That... Babe, you did yourself with this thumbnail. That's sick. Thank you.
All right. Yeah, already. Thanks, man. Save this. We gotta go talk to Garrus. Where am I going? Where do I need to go? This way? Garrus! Let's go! To the Presidium! I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they tend to hate him for a couple of hours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's I love the elevator music. Nope, let's put that away. Um, all right, journal. Expose Saren. You have to provide civil account proof to the castle. Go to Korra's den in the lower words and speak with Harkin, a CSEC agent who might know where Garrus can be found. Where, where's the lower words? I need to talk to this. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Night, night shift, her talk. Behind me is the spectacular relay monument. Hey, right on, bro. Heck yeah, man. You can watch the podcast and stuff. Relay. That's cool. To your left is um, one of the keepers. Doing pretty good myself. Caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation.
Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic Let me see what, how, what is the file size is. at the apex of the Citadel Tower. It says 21.3, but I don't, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be bigger than that, so don't take that. I, I think maybe that's only this one installed, potentially. Not 100%. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So 88.1 gigabytes. Why is it only saying 20 something for me? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued that the stubborn jelly all after. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers, or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 <laughs> credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. That's the easy way out, huh? <laughs> I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. To wards, nice. I need to go to lower wards, but you know what? I'm going to save it. I'm going to investigate this other thing real quick. I want to see what happens if I try and play Mass Effect 2.
Install. Install. Okay. So yes, yeah, it's, it's 88 gigabytes total. Three games, and you can install them individually. You don't have to keep them all installed at the same time because you're not going to be hopping back and forth. Like you play Mass Effect One, uninstall it, install Mass Effect Two. Right now, it's only 20 gigabytes installed. Like each of these games are pretty long, so. Lower wards. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have well, like I said, you can install each game separately. So you only have to install one at a time. It's only 20 something gigs. Like this is like 21.8 and then before I'm finished with this, I'm going to install the second one and then when I am finished with it and uninstall the first one if you if you're low on space. I like the way that they did that space, giving you the option to install all three or just one at a time. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. How do we get to the lower ones? There we go. Oh, look, everything loads so fast. Assassin!
Fuck off, Rex. This told Yo, what's up, Cyber? No, I played this when it came out. Went a long time ago. I think I played through it twice originally. But like it's been so long, dude. It's like that was like the year it came out. I played all of them. Except for Andromeda. I haven't beaten Andromeda. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Sweetheart, you looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Mark and have a drink? And see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Med clinics, med clinic upper wards. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. You're home now? Right on, bro. Oh my gosh, yes. It's so much better, dude. <laughs> Lower markets. Med Bay. Med Clinic. Nice. Found it. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. 
Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Here, thugs. Clear. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention right on, Cyber. The Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. The yeah, crew's all coming wrong. together, man. Heck yeah. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Sec Academy down here. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah. Often was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? 
I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Go get Rex. The Valian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. There's Rex. Come on, Krogan. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. What, Rex? <laughs> this is like the OG squad, you know? Like, fuck yeah. Look, look at the squad. Oh, we got the old band back together. All of, not all of them yet. We got a few yet to come. Guys. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. 
He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. Yeah, I think he has it pre-ordered, bro. What's up, Kyle? How's it going, man? Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Everything's so expensive. to the markets to talk to that chore van what's up anime how's it going Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? Then My name Andrew. Is Conrad. Conrad Burner. They say you killed Andromeda is better. Okay. Death on Eden <laughs> Prime. Cool. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Oh, right on, anime. That's awesome, dude. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Th thanks again. Go down here. Oh, 
Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. What data? What are you talking about? I didn't come out to play games with you, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. We don't have what you're looking for. Fine. Have it your way. Boys? Oh boy. Hey, why did it turn me around? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wait, I give up. I give up. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I kill you right here? Why are you willing to die for this data? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Whenever you see a keeper, scan it. Discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. Well, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you, and happy scanning, Commander. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, all right then, all right, good tidings go. to you, human. Yeah, I don't have any thoughts on the SpongeBob game, bro. <laughs> uh, I haven't played it. All right, we need to look at the. I need to look at the journal. See exactly where I'm supposed to go. Okay.
Okay. Oh, got lots of stuff. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh... Well, uh... Dog. Screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Smart man. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. 
Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> nice. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. I like the hacking on here. Come on. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. 
Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. Oh man, According it's getting so good. Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson, the squad! Go ahead to get yes! Ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Let's go. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of it? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, so where do I need to go? Journal.
Let's go talk to the council. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. Let's go. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. 
We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Yes. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Through all my time at CSEC, I, I never got the chance to witness a meeting of the Council in person. 300 years ago, the guests drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Oh, this game's so incredible, guys. Loving it. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? I think I'll be going. I need to talk to say, Earth Clan. guy Good down day. here, I think. Okay, what is that? Maybe this way.
Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think he said to go talk to the like CSEC Academy place. the street is that you've been busy congratulations on taking down fist i was sure he was a big player in anything going on here did you find anything in his office that could help me these osds might have the information you're looking for you've got Fist's files this could be even bigger than i'd hoped here commander for your trouble had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... <laughs> Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Um... Are there any more keepers around here? Yeah, that's not true, David. Uh, it's a licensed product. Um, both Sony and Microsoft can both use Unreal Engine 5. In fact, Sony owns, uh, has invested a lot of invested money into Epic. I think like, to comment. can't remember the amount, but like 500 million and the Epic makes Unreal Engine. So Epic's very invested into Unreal Engine 5 and Microsoft is licensing it. In fact, Coalition is one of the, is Microsoft Studios, one of the prominent figures that developers that use Unreal Engine, they are always like on the forefront of everything to do with Unreal Engine. A lot of the de developers came from Epic um, that work for the coalition and they announced that they are moving all of their, uh, production into Unreal Engine 5. Um, so that's probably where those rumors came from, I'm guessing, but that's definitely not true. Sub husk. Hello again. 
Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? No, it's not anything big, but it's still an investment. I mean, what I'm what I'm getting at there is it's not like I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Sony definitely has the ability to use Unreal Engine 5. They have a partnership and marketing uh, things going on with Epic. Oh, uh, not with Epic. Yeah, with Epic. Um, so definitely Sony is going to be using Unreal Engine 5. Um, in fact, Epic has been showing off the engine on uh, and marketing partnerships with Sony, even though it's going to be on all. It's going to be on all platforms. It's going to be on PC, it's going to be on Xbox, it's going to be um, on, on PlayStation. It's just, it's a game engine. This is just the next iteration of Unreal Engine. It's been going on for decades. This is Unreal Engine. <laughs> this is Unreal Engine 3. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... Well, I don't know if it, how much Sony is going to actually use it. Well, if Shorbin because forget, I think it's more Sony or less Sony's. I the Sony has the ability to use it if they want to. But I think it's more or less um, Sony showing off the Unreal Engine on PlayStation. There's going to be a lot of PlayStation games that have Unreal Engine. Just like there's going to be a lot of Xbox games that have Unreal Engine. And the marketing they're doing with Epic is through Unreal Engine. And Sony developers, I think, have the choice of using primarily whatever engine they want to use. Uh, depends on the studio. My point is that they can use it if they want to. Yeah, the Coalition is big time into... Well, not even Coalition. Gears of War 3 was epic. So, it you guys don't know that Gears of War was created by Epic. Microsoft per and it was a um, third-party game that was exclusive to Xbox. Microsoft purchased Gears of War from Epic, and then they formed. Well, they already had what was Black Tusk Studios, which they had already formed. Then they brought in Rod Ferguson from Epic to lead the coalition to lead Black Tusk Studios, and they changed the name to the Coalition, and also brought in a lot of epic developers to the team of coalition and from then coalition has made gears 4 and gears 5 epic made gears 1 2 and 3 and people can fly made gears of war judgment um so all of those games were developed so that's that's why they showed it off unreal engine 3 with those games because that was the apex of what they were doing at the time was with Unreal Engine was on Gears and it stayed that way even though Coalition is not Epic Coalition has a lot of ties to Epic and they use Unreal Engine they're very advanced at it so um, that's does make sense for them to make the announcement of moving into Unreal Engine 5 they're some of the best with Unreal Engine um, period maybe the best them and Epic I don't know what you mean Sony pays Microsoft for buying studios. Sony doesn't pay Microsoft for, for... I don't know what you mean by that. 
you're I know that Sony and Microsoft both have tech that they share and they have to pay licensing fees like every Xbox that has a Blu-ray drive in it they have to pay Sony for that right like there's a lot of back and forth with tech between those companies they're partners Sony and Microsoft are partners um, in a lot of different ways uh, they make deals with each other. Uh, Sony uses uh, um, is is using a, starting to use Azure servers. I mean, there's a lot of different things back and forth. But I don't know what you mean by Sony paying and Microsoft for buying studios. Years of War was shown to Xbox behind closed doors, which made Xbox add more RAM to the 360. Yep, that's true. Which cost Microsoft a billion from going 256 RAM to 512. Yeah, they asked for more. Uh, not that's not that's not it though. That's not the only game. Uh, that also goes back to Todd Howard and Bethesda uh, when they were making um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. That's something they also wanted. They asked Xbox to add more RAM. Um, so they made the change before the 360 came out. Um, They had a, a Todd Howard tells a story of having a double the RAM party <laughs> at, at Bethesda. No joke. They they were so ha happy that Xbox doubled the RAM when they were uh, making Oblivion that they had a party to celebrate. Sony gets gets money for Blu-ray. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm just basically pointing out that like these companies do a lot of partnerships with each other and deals and stuff. They're not like even though they're competing against each other in the market share for different products, they're also working together on, on, on different products and stuff, so. There's a lot of fanboyism, like, with, like, weird, weird rumors and weird stories that are just kind of, like, spread around and just, like, aren't true. Um, I can't stand that stuff. No matter what the platform. There's stuff that is true that's legitimate criticism. You, you want to criticize $70 games? Yeah, I do. Right? Um, you want to criticize... Um, the memory issue, like, on storage? You know, that's, uh, that's something that's definitely worth criticizing. Um, Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. I was just like, it, it explained to me how Sony pays Microsoft for act for buying studios. I don't get that. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I don't think threats are necessary. 
Even but she's such a badass. On the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. And it's done. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> I suppose. Besides, Nick, the console is nothing like the girls back on the colonies. She's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> you don't have to listen to the conversations. I didn't say that. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, Xbox made a deal with MLB. Or take that back. I don't. We don't know exactly how the li the licensing went, but. Xbox made a deal with MLB at least to bring MLB the show the Game Pass. MLB is published. MLB the show is published by MLB. Made by Sony. It was awesome to have that franchise finally come to Xbox. Okay, where am I? What am I? What am I doing right now? Oh, there's a keeper. I'm going to go scan that keeper.
Terry Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Okay. Do I need to go back to the ship? Forgot what they said. Where do I go? Okay, Citadel Tower, Embassies. Oh wait, I needed to go there and talk to the... Yeah, there's Docking Bay. This is a training academy. Hello, Commander. I think I'll be going. Sure. I think I need to talk to go to the training academy. I went there, but there was that other mission, so it blocked my way, I think. Okay, so I think that's what I need to do. Okay, mark it. It was close to the med clinic. Yes, here we go. galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Okay. 
<laughs> this is just like where I just was. I guess that's a requisitions officer they told me to talk to. Where does this one go? Must be like the roundabout way. Alright, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go to the ship. I don't have enough supplies to buy anything from that other dude. Maybe he's got something free for me now, though. I don't know. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. All right. Rare stocks. Nice. Don't have any money still, though, so it didn't really matter. Let's go get some money. And then we'll get some cool shit. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yep, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. To the Normandy. It's my ship now, motherfuckers. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Hey, baby. Hold on real quick, guys.
Atkins. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. The Council wants to ignore this. Eyes they never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. What a speech. Well, guys. This might be a good time to call it. Um, I going to take a nice little break we have Xbox ultimate podcast coming up in uh, just a couple of hours in two hours Xbox ultimate tonight um, we have Ash and Luca coming on the show we have Devin hyperfan gaming is coming on the show and we got the Magnificent Seven. It's going to be a blast tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun to talk about Dark Alliance, talk about this game, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're going to talk about um, Starfield. Steam. We're going to talk about Steam. Hey, it's going to be fun. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this stream, and I hope you enjoy the show tonight. So tune in again, 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, on this channel. See you guys there. Have a great one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.